Here is the true story of Dindam, the rescued penguin from Ilha Grande, Brazil, that returns every year to his rescuer according to biologist João Paulo Kriuski. He presented the story about the penguin Dindam for the segment Deming Jao Aventurin of Globo TV, Brazil. The heartwarming story went viral on social media and internet all over the world. He said that several news agencies and websites have published versions of the story that were filled many misconceptions and misinformations. Dindam is a Magellanic penguin that was rescued in May 20, 11 by Mr. Jao Pereira de Souza, in Prufta Beach, Ilha Grande, Rio de Janeiro State. The penguin was covered in oil and could barely move. Mr. Jao cleaned and fed the penguin for days until he was strong enough to be released in the sea. Jao then took the penguin in a boat to a nearby island and released the animal. Later that day, Jao heard squeaking in his backyard at Prufta Beach. Much to his surprise, he saw the penguin had returned and was calling out for him. Dindam took up temporary residence in Pereira de Souza's backyard until February 20, 12. One day in February, Dindam simply disappeared. It is unknown where Dindam had ventured off to. Months later in June, Jao heard a loud squeak coming from his backyard and Dindam was there, waiting for him. The two were reunited again. This has been going on every year since then. The penguin returns in late June and stays until mid-February. Some of the articles stated that Penguin travels 5,000 miles every year to see his rescuer and even show a map showing the supposed annual migration route of Dindam. Kriuski says the truth is that they don't know where Dimdim goes the rest of the year, but the biologist says it's extremely unlikely that he travels to Patagonia, which is thousands of miles away. This is because Dindam stays in Ilha Grande at the same time all other Magellanic penguins are breeding in Patagonia and other islands down south said Kriuski. When these penguins finish breeding and molting, they migrate and spend months feeding in the sea. He also mentioned that he have never said that local authorities allowed Mr. Jao to keep the penguin because of his kindness. First of all, the penguin is completely free. It sleeps in Mr. Jao's backyard, which is connected to the beach and only partially fenced, since Jao is concerned about street dogs attacking the penguin, said Kriuski. Judging by the first photos taken when the penguin was rescued and by an evaluation by local biologists, Dindam is reaching the sexual maturity now. He is estimated to be about six years old. He also mentioned that Dindam is a male. We know that because we took a few measurements of his bill and the sex was later confirmed by a group of professionals from Ubatuba's aquarium that took a blood sample and tagged Dindam for research, said Kriuski. He said that Jao, Dindam's rescuer, is not a fisherman and that he is a retired bricklayer. He have not made any comment about religion, miracles, and things like these. I don't think the fact Dindam was found by Mr. Jao was a divine intervention. Many penguins are found sick in the coast of Brazil, and finding and taking care of one is pure chance. If anything created this event, it was the terrible habit of humans to trash the environment, which causes many animals to get covered in oil or swallow trash," said Kriuski. He interpreted this story as Dindam was rescued, fed, and stayed with Mr. Jao for the entire part of the year while the species usually stay in the beach and breed along the coast of Patagonia, it imprinted on Dindam that Ilha Grande is home instead. When all the Magellanic penguins are going to Patagonia, Dindam goes to Ilha Grande and recognizes Mr. Jao. Penguins are usually very loyal to their partner. They may live for over 25 years and usually mate with the same individual in the same nest every year. This site and partner fidelity certainly facilitated the development of the relationship between Dindam and Mr. Jao. The relationship was created by the accident suffered by Dindam and by Jao having rescued him. The only statement in English I have was passed indirectly to a news agency from the UK, and is this, Magellanic penguins are usually very loyal to their partner. They live for more than 25 years and usually the same couple nests in the same hole every summer in Patagonia. The penguin Dindam certainly displays this same loyalty by changing the usual nesting site of the species by the place where it was rescued and fed in Brazil. His rescuer, Mr. Jao, is now like family for him. Professionals who work with animal rescues make the most to avoid relationships like this so they are able to reintroduce the animal into the wild. But this isolated case in Brazil certainly allowed Dindam to live and was the best this humble and kind man could do for the penguin.